Hey guys, welcome to the review for Theodora DD11K GX14 football shoes or soccer place, whatever you want to call them. These are the shoes that uh, were worn by uh, Antonio Cassano, and these are professional shoes made with kangaroo leather. These are very sleek boots, and they feature the net breathing system among other technologies but that's the technology that stands out and features in the uh, commercial for this shoe some might think that this technology doesn't work at all and it's just a big hype but I think it works after studying it closely and wearing it for two or three days uh, it works but only in small amounts if you're dripping with sweat don't expect this to vaporize everything and keep you cool but if you just uh, have a light training session yeah that will be uh, sweat free they weigh in at 280 grams as always Diodora just goes for the simple stuff just delivering the boots that fit well but don't are, aren't that flashy they are flashy compared to very minimalistic boots but they are not that flashy they are just they just deliver the goods, they just do the job. They, they're not out there to uh, impress anyone in terms of being nice or uh, the player feeling too pretty or whatever. So yeah, here we have the laces, which are by the way very long. Of course, they are not looped through here, but once you loop them through, they are you can still have them around three times, two times at least, and still have some to go. Anyway, uh, long laces, uh, small velcro parts to uh, cover the laces, the lace cover, and the net braiding system insoles. Pretty good doesn't feel too comfortable at first but they will take the shape of your feet in time in like a week or two of playing and training so yeah and the holes help with the net breathing system which is a three layer four layer if you count the last itself system that vaporizes the sweat and in the heel we have something really good it's the touch counter it's very uh, strong and it's good because it's as advertised it uh, absorbs the shock on your heel and it, this helps in many foot types uh, also nice uh, back of the heel design the inside is also very nice nobody even designs this part but the Adora have added their name and uh, logo here. It's very nice and feels great against touch. And coming to the uh, toe box, not that much of a white toe box, but it's kangaroo leather. And because of the anti stretch linings here, which are on the instep and on the top of the foot you will get stretches only in the places that you need if your uh, shoe gets stretched too much in this part your feet will be on the air and this part this part will remain empty so that that will ultimately give you a bad fit but they have added anti-stretch uh, linings and your foot will stretch more in this area in the little toe area that you need and not much in, in these parts anti-stretch stitching uh, in the instep and on the top of the foot make sure that your shoe expands and breaks in the right way because if your shoe uh, breaks in and expands from the instep too much you might feel that the fit is not what you would have wanted and you would need better expanding and breaking in from the little toe parts to make sure your foot feels better and aligned with the last.
So yeah, anti-stretch stitchings help here. The other logo on the outside and the instep of the foot. And the insole as well. Yeah, that's about it. And overall, they are pretty average shoes. The right word that I want to find is just average because they are not too heavy, not too light. They are not completely kangaroo leather everywhere. Also, they are not completely synthetic. So they are like a hybrid boot, of course with the molded last, molded pleats. That is just for the general uh, players. Like any position can wear this. The event for the all-out shoe that uh, goes to the masses and not just wingers, defenders, goalkeepers, or midfielders, forwards. They are not targeting a, a specific position, but any player who likes a good fit. The price tag for this shoe is ranging from 50 bucks to 200 bucks, and for the same version and not another type of um, cleats. They, they do have other versions of the studs, but this same version, the TD11K GX14, ranges from $50 to $200 in price. I got mine for 50 bucks. Of course, it was on sale, and on Amazon and other sites like eBay, you may find even people selling them at $200. So make sure you get them on sale because they do go on sale from time to time. Hope you liked the review of this versatile shoe and comment, like and subscribe as always. You can ask any questions about this shoe or any other shoe we have reviewed or perhaps there's a shoe you want us to review. Just let us know.